seeing that this is not the first time an explosion of the sort has happened in this country, what do you make of the whole incident? It's embarrassing. I think it's quite a major blot on the industry and also on government itself. Um, and I think we are here only for one reason. We never hold people accountable for, for lapses in safety and lapses in their service at any point in time. Uh, everybody knows somebody who knows somebody and everything gets off. June 3 happened um, a little over a year ago. And, and guess what? We never held the people that were obviously uh, responsible. And there's no way you can absorb a company like Goyle, but we let them go. And we refer to some secret, we talk about a report, and the report is never out. You hear of it in bits and pieces somewhere. And, and that's the attitude that we have to things. But what public policymakers do not realize, one action builds an attitude within an industry. And that's the attitude. We have a laser fair attitude towards safety. We have a laser uh, attitude towards safety because we never hold people accountable for lapses in safety. Lives are lost and we still don't hold people accountable. This happens well, who's going to be held accountable? June 3 was also the same irresponsible error of owners of the filling station. Because you have primary responsibility as a, a gas station to make sure you keep your products tight. And there are systems for it. So if you don't manage it well and and few, you know, uh, d gets displaced in that quantity. Somebody smoking cigarettes. Since when the smoking cigarette become a crime? But it's a crime, and it's, it is it is illegal or improper for you or against the rules of of our industry for you to allow um, so much fuel to be displaced from your system because you did not manage a valve or or something right. That's a big problem. So it's always been owners. Owners have had responsibilities in there for most of the times. We never hold anyone, uh, anyone accountable. By holding them accountable, what exactly do you think they should How can people's lives be lost and you be working free? And you continue your business as normal. Who's compensated those who died last year? Think about it. You give them pure water and carry human beings and dump them in trucks as if they are trash. And nobody, none, did the safety people, the EPA, the MPA, the GSA lapse in the, in, the, in the supervision of the filling station. If they did, have we held anyone accountable? That's, now that I'm talking June 3. With what you have now, when they go in there, they have to look at the lapses. Were there lapses in monitoring? If there were lapses in monitoring, who's been held accountable? If it's the owners, are we going to sue them? Are we going to, uh, what's the name, uh, uh, really hold them accountable legally? I mean, nothing's gonna, nothing happens here. I mean, we just talk and cry and make a few donations like I intend to do. Then everything fizzles out. But these are lives. These are people's parents. These are people's mothers. You know, These are people's children. Fathers. Brothers. And until it, it hits you yourself, you don't relate to it. And you see everybody as a statistics. Ghanaians are not statistics. So for you, you are... Um, accusing government of being... I think government has been totally lapsed. I mean, let's, let's, and I, I don't think that they've been fair with the people as far as these things. And I don't want to talk about government. I'm not talking about the press. I'm talking about the entire governance apparatus, the public apparatus. There's been, there's been lapses. There's an attorney general. There's a police. There's, there's, a, there's the police service. There's the fire service. There's the MP. There's the EP. People have, there's a, a metropolitan assembly that also has a certain responsibility in there. I mean, you can't hold the attorney general responsible and let these people be able to build a dozier for her to work. Okay, but who has gone to do that? None. If somebody has, it means that some other person is sitting on something. Who are we going to hold accountable? It's just as simple as that. When I know that when I wake up and I don't do my work well, I'll be in trouble if anything happens. And I never know when anything can happen. I'm not going to compromise on anything because I could be in jail. I could lose my job. My family could really be heavily embarrassed. I'll be a bit more calculated about how I misbehave. But I don't think that that's here. We are careless. Because this, again, will fizzle out.